this is a 2014 uh, Lexus GS350. You can hear it gets a lot worse as the RPMs go up, but this is a squeal that's coming from the tensioner pulley. They do not sell that pulley by itself, so we're going to show you how to replace just the bearings. All right, so you want to turn it counterclockwise, right? As if you're yeah, counterclockwise, as if you're loosening it, and that's going to release the tension on it. And you put a 316th or a five millimeter Allen tool in the little hole at the bottom to hold it in place, so you can then pull the belt off. And when you want to pull the pulley off, you just switch your ratchet as if you were tightening it because it's a left-hand thread and then it takes the bolt right off. They might have some lock tight on it, so it might be a little difficult. There it goes. So here's the pulley. It actually feels okay. You can't feel anything when you spin it around, um, but it's definitely making noise. We sprayed a little WD-40 and it quieted right up temporarily, so we know this is the issue. There's actually two bearings inside. They're pressed in together and then there's a center sleeve. So we're gonna push out the sleeve first and then we're going to flip it around and we're gonna push the bearings out. We'll push the new bearings in and then we'll push the sleeve in and we should be good to go. So we're using a Harbor Freight press to press out the center sleeve. I'm just using uh, two sockets, one that fits on the inside sleeve and one that fits on the outside sleeve. I'll show you when I pop them out. So I ended up using a 7 16 socket to press the sleeve out and then we pressed it around an 18 millimeter. So here's the center sleeve that's going to press between these two bearings and you can see here now you can clearly see. So now we'll press these bearings out. And there is a little ring on the top here, which is on the inside of the vehicle. And so we're going to have to press them out from the front. So we're going to push this direction. All right, now we're pressing out the bearings from the center. All right, so this uh, Craftsman 30 millimeter seats over it just right. So we're going to put, do the two bearings and then we're going to press them in this direction. So I pressed the one in first and now I'm just pressing in the second one. And you're just going to press it until you feel the tension and that's going to be when it hits the other side. And there it is. So we're using that same 7 16 Craftsman socket to press the sleeve in until it's flush. And then you want to make sure on the bottom side that you're using, I'm using an 18 millimeter. In this case, I think it's a cobalt. That way it sits on the inner race. And here's how it looks now. About the same as when we took it out. So we're going to go install it on the Lexus and see how it works. And here it goes, uh, running with the new pulley. 